Hey, I have not done a video in a very long time. Um, I apologize for the for the angle and also for the facial hair. I just I tried to trim it last night, but let's just say more of it came off than I would have liked it to. Anyways, um, the reason why I am doing a video is because um, I actually uh, just got out of uh, my local Goodwill. I'm actually in the parking lot right now. Um, I had some time to kill. Um, I just got out of a um, an appointment with my therapist, and then um, I also have a doctor's appointment in a little bit. Um, but I decided to go into Goodwill to see what they had, and I got more stuff than I thought I was going to get. I didn't think I was going to get that much stuff today. Maybe just one thing, but then I saw what more they had. Um, so I figured I'd show you all what I got. Um, just let you all know. Every single thing that I did get is actually either a Disney movie or a kids movie. Or actually, no, one's kind of a micro mini TV series. Um, maybe for older kids, but this is mostly like kid stuff. Um, because I realized I didn't have that many, I don't have that many kids movies in my collection. Not, just, not that I don't want any of them, quite the contrary. I just don't have that many of them. So I figured, you know, I'd, and plus these were the ones that jumped out at me pretty quickly anyways so I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got so the first thing that I got and these were all two dollars also so the first thing I got this is the TV show that I got this is a volume one of Star Wars Clone Wars this is actually uh, the micro series that came out on Cartoon Network back in 2003 and 2004 I've never seen this show before um, and these are actually really hard to find. Um, they didn't have volume two, which was disappointing. I wanted, I was hoping they would, but um, I know I haven't seen this show. I'm looking forward to watching it. Um, it's Getty Tartakovsky who did Dexter's Laboratory, Samurai Jack, and the Hotel Transylvania movies. So, hoping it'll be as good as everybody says it is. And then the next couple ones we have up are Disney ones. Uh, the first one up, this is. Um, Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. Um, I have not seen this movie in a long time. Um, I, um, I remember liking the sequel, Lost in San Francisco, more than I did this one. But I do remember liking this as a kid. Um, anyway, so yeah. After, like I said, most of these things I haven't seen in a long time, so I just picked them up as a whim. But anyway, so yeah, Homeward Bound... It's a good 90s feel-good Disney movie, I think. Now, this one, this one. And now, I know this movie's out on Blu-ray. But, you know, I can't find the Blu-ray anywhere. And it was only a $2... And the DVD was only $2. So, I figured, just get it. And I also wanted to watch this movie again. This is the uh, special edition of James and the Giant Peach. This is a fantastic movie. This, this is such a great movie. Um, you know, it's based off the Rolled Doll book, which I have read. I read a couple of times when I was in elementary school. A uh, really great book. I love Rolled Doll. And also, it's um, directed by Henry Selleck, who did uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, which, I love both James and the Giant Peach and The Nightmare Before Christmas. I almost wanted to say that this was, I think, my favorite of the two, but I don't, I don't think so. I think I like, I think I like Nightmare Before Christmas more than I do James and Giant Peach, but James and Giant Peach is still a terrific movie. Anyway, so, yeah, James and Giant Peach. Let's see, and the other Disney one that I got was uh, another Disney movie that I haven't seen in years. Um, and this is another one that I would like to watch on Blu-ray, actually, just because of, like, the CG and stuff, but... You know, in the meantime, I've got the DVD. This is Dinosaur. I have not seen this movie in years. I remember actually, I remember buying the VHS of this when it was brand new. I remember that. Um, there's like a few movies that I, Disney movies, I remember actually buying brand new when they came out on, on video. Uh, this one, um, Lilo and Stitch, I remember getting... When it was brand new, I actually saw it in theaters, and then I remember when it came out on DVD, on video, I picked it up. I was like five or I was like, yeah, I was five. Um, I was four when this came out, or four or three. Um, but like I said, I haven't seen this movie in years. I figured, you know what the heck, just pick it up and give it a watch. Okay, okay. Um, 
let me explain myself with this one. This is a movie that I know is not very good. It's not very good. It's... It's, uh... Yeah. I'll just go ahead and show it to you all. It, it's not a Disney movie, though. It's something else. Uh, okay. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and the Island of Misfit Toys. Okay. I grew up watching this movie every single Christmas when I was a kid. I had it on video. I didn't have it on DVD. I know that this movie is not good. It is not a good movie. The animation is terrible. It's not... I mean, it's... It's a decent sequel to the Rankin Bass animated special. The... The story, I will say, is kind of an interesting kind of a thing. I mean, yeah. I know it's not good, but... Simply for nostalgic purposes and the fact that I don't... That this DVD has been out of print for a very long time. And that you never see it anywhere. I picked it up. And it was only two bucks. I was like... And... I had to. I can't say that I will watch this every single Christmas. I may pop this in later, like in like nine months now, or eight or, eight or nine months now when Christmas rolls around, but just to see how it looks on DVD. But, well also, another thing with this is that, you know, it comes with the inserts and everything else, which is nice. I mean, it comes with um, the DVD, but it also comes with, this I remember coming with the tape. This is, um, I think it's the sound. I think it's the soundtrack. Is it? I don't. It doesn't. Because this one, like, it doesn't say. Like, this is obviously the uh, the DVD. But this one right here, I'm guessing this is the soundtrack. Uh, because I remember having this kind of a disc with this actually artwork. Um, and it had the music, it had the songs from the movie. Like I said, I, I'll have to get, but when I get home, I'll check it out. But, uh, yeah, like I said, this is not a good movie. I know it's not, but, you know, it's the sense of nostalgia for me. It's Christmas, just for Christmas time. I know it's March, but, you know, I don't regret buying it. Now, this is another one that I ha also haven't seen in years, um, and I... Also remember this one not being the greatest, um, but you know, again, kind of like with Rudolph, I thought you know, for you know nostalgic reasons, just pick it up. We're back a dinosaur story. Um, like I said, I remember this one not being not being horrible, but I also remember it not being great. It's one, it's kind of one of those serviceable '90s animated movies. Um, one that I really want to get, and this is produced by Amblin and Universal. One of the ones I really want to get that they did in the 90s was Balto. Balto is actually a, a good movie. I like Balto quite a bit, actually. Um, it's also very relevant now because of the whole anti-vaxxers thing going on. On a side note, vaccinate your kids, people. Anyways, <laughs> sorry, that was a random tangent. Anyways, uh, the last thing I got is actually a two-pack. Um, this was only uh, two dollars, also, so a dollar each for both of these movies. And um, this one, you know, some people may say, "Oh, you know, the Rudolph thing was for really little kids." This is also for really little kids. I don't care. These movies, these movies are great. This is the, this is the two movie Pig. Yeah, Pig pack of Babe, Babe, and Babe Pig in the City. So, so you've got uh, Babe and Babe Pig in the City. Um, yeah, these movies are for are for kids. They are for little kids. But I also think these are also really good family movies because let's think about it. We don't have that many good movies like for families that much anymore. Every so often, there's a Disney movie that gets it, but not that many live action stuff. These, I really think, are two of the best kids' movies out there. Um, especially Babe Pig in the City. Babe Pig in the City is an amazing movie. This is 
one of the best sequels ever, I think. And even the late Gene Siskel named it the best movie of 1998. This is actually the last movie to get the tie, to get such a, an honor from him because he died in 1999. Um, and Babe, for Pete's sake, Babe was nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. Lost to Braveheart, but but yeah, I mean, how many, how often do kids' movies get nominated for Best Picture? I mean, I know that you know Beauty and the Beast, Toy Story three, and and up. But like a live action kids movie, if you want something like that, you got to all, you have to go all the way back to Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins was up for Best Picture, but other than that, not that many other live action kids movies have that honor. So, or like a family movie. But yeah, these are both terrific, terrific movies. Um, they're both in widescreen. Um, May Pig and the City doesn't really have that many special features, but. Uh, this one does. Uh, this one has a commentary with um, uh, writer producer George Miller. Which, on a side note, George Miller directed Babe Pig in the City, and he wrote and produced the first Babe, the guy who brought us the Mad Max movies. So, yeah, how weird is that? But anyways, so yeah, guys, that's everything that I picked up at Goodwill today. Um, I just figured I'd show you all what I got, and uh, hope everybody's having a good day, a good week, and. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later.